Welcome, this is Shreya and you are watching Peace News International, starting with the headlines. All PK members paid a heartfelt tribute to Dadi Ridha Mohini Ji on her second Remembrance Day in Brahma Khumari's headquarter. BK Sapna was invited to an intercultural festival organized by Idea Exchange in China. Now the news in detail. Raji Yogini Dadi Ridha Mohini Ji, also known as Dadi Gulzar, former chief administrative head of Brahma Kumaris and one of the most important pillars of the organization, attained her angelic stage when she left her physical body on 11th March 2021 and became a resident of the Sachal region. Today, at Brahma Kumari's headquarters, Shantewan, on the second memorial day of Gulzar Dadiji, the Brahma Kumari's family remembered her and paid their heartfelt tributes. First of all, Dadi Ratan Mohini, chief of Brahma Kumari's organization, offered floral tributes. Apart from this, additional chief Mohini Didi and Jenti Didi, Secretary General BK Nirvabhaiji, Joint Chief Muni Didi, Director of Germany Sudesh Didi, Executive Secretary BK Mrittunje Bhai, Multimedia Chief BK Karuna Bhai, Godlywood Studio Executive Director BK Harilal Bhai, BK Nilu Didi and various officials also pay tribute. Also the Regional Coordinator of Germany BK Sudesh Didi, paid her tribute and shared some golden moments spent with Dadi Gulzar with our Peace News team. Let's listen to it. The day of remembrance of such a divine soul in her personality was naturally divinity. A divine soul blessed by God and loved by all. Purity was her natural personality from her childhood. She was blessed with divine vision and brought a vision or reality of the subtle region the angelic world. When she was eight years old, as called Dadi Gulzarji, now known as Hirde Mohini, the one who wins the heart of everyone with her pure attitude, pure vision, divine life, Her whole life was very simple, clean, pure. In her simplicity was natural dedication. In her simplicity was beauty of her self, a pure being with a pure heart with the elevated life of natural renunciation, natural detachment, beyond any attraction, beyond any temptation. It was saintly life, pure life she lived and inspired millions of souls. The whole Brahmin family experienced divinity through her life, experiencing the relationship with the Divine, with the Supreme Being, Supreme Soul. Her dedication was amazing. She totally gave her mind, even her instrument body, for godly service. As the Supreme Being, Avyakta Mat Paptada, we call the angelic energy and supreme energy combined, giving through her 
wonderful wisdom a power of purity inspiration and happiness in everyone's life and empowering souls of their own divinity as china opens its borders for more exchanges after a long period of more than 3 years a special event was organized by the idea exchange team as the intercultural festival after the spring festival on this occasion bk sister sapna was invited to share her views on the spiritual perspective of intercultural exchanges sister sapna gave a presentation on the theme decoding global culture the spiritual dimension also various experts from different fields were invited to share their ideas from different perspectives such as economic financial business and motivational the session concluded with a guided meditation commentary which was full of peaceful energy costumes of different colors of bodies nationalities <coughs> cultures That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.